once again, another Goodwill and blank shelves. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Goodwill Center in Evansville, Indiana. It's one of several that are here. This one, Emma says, that they have got, they have broadened their hard goods section because the last time I've been in here, they had one wall. So we'll see. We'll see what we can find in here today. Oh, here's a little angel. You know what I like about this Goodwill? The music's not so loud. I don't have any music on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's some velvety stocking. Oh, this is a cute little planter for four dollars. I'll get that. Oh, we've got one thing. So far, it's one thing. What's this it's got a candle with jelly beans in it. Huh. This is broken. Delft blue, but it's got a big crack in it there. Don't make me call out my flying monkeys. There's a Salvation Army mug in the Goodwill. Wow. They, they're competitors. Well, I don't know that they're competitors, but... Oh, these are nice to use um, to put books in. Old books, I'm gonna get that. Cause I'd like to have another one. So I'm gonna get that too. Here's a little brass flower pot thing. And a little snow, I mean look how bare the shelves are. <laughs> This is what we're dealing with in Indiana, at least. Pier 1. Now, Pier 1 is no longer in business. So, I might look this Orala up. This one, unfortunately, though, has a chip. But since Pier 1 is no longer in business, I mean, it's just one. I, I will look it up, though. We will look it up and see. This little green basket's kind of cute. The Bombay Company eggs. Okay. There's a mark. Hmm. I do have to say that they have added a lot more. They, none of these shells were here the last time I was here. So at least they have added. An acorn. There's a boy with his basket and his spoon. I don't know, for the dough. That is a decor piece. Oh, here's a Madonna and child. Madonna and child planter. I know that some people will buy and like to buy religious pieces, but they don't usually sell very well for me or very fast for me. That mug has a sweater on. Oh, hey Mark, will you look up Pier 1 Aurelia? Because Pier 1's out of business. So sometimes people are, are looking for that, this pattern. So we're going to, so like here's Pier 1 too, Celebration. So I need to look some of these up. Yeah. Wait. Can look at their souls. Is that for one? Dinner plate. 
Okay, it's not a dinner plate. Mint condition. Trivets? No. <clears throat> dinner plate. Dinner plate. Dinner plate. So like nine ninety nine for a dinner plate? Yeah. Why did that one sell for so much? Wait, which one? The one at the very top. Sorry, honey. There's two dinner plates set. Okay. So all I'm saying is, now, now look at this one though. Pier 1 Celebration. Is since Pier 1 has gone out of business, then it's, it's worth looking into. This is the last aisle. Oh, these are fun colors. They're plastic, they're not vintage, but they're just, and here's some flowers. Mm -mm. Eh, I don't know if that's any that you'd want. She said, here's some flowers. Eh. Eh. Oh. I've sold this little guy before. He's heavy though, that's the only bad thing. Squirrel. Look at the linens too. Let's see it. Okay. A couple afghans. Oh, that's kind of cute. Well, they probably have a sign somewhere. This is how much their linens are. I've seen this too. Uh, and that's really thin too. Here's where all the furniture is. And all the artwork. I'm not gonna look in here. We're gonna look on this back wall. Hello. Hi. Lamps. Bread machines. Take a look at the books. That's someone's craft. <laughs> yeah, someone wants to look for Dr. Seuss books. Like you and everybody else. All right, well, we are at the second Goodwill of the day today. So we'll see if we can find anything. I bought three things at the last one. So here's hoping that we can actually, we can, maybe we can, maybe we can find something. Let's go see. Once again, another Goodwill and blank shelves. But I did find a fairy lamp for $4. Stars and bars, Ellie Smith stars and bars fairy lamp. So I, okay, that's good, good job, Goodwill. You, you, you've not completely let me down. This is to a tray. That's nothing, it's $6. Oh, no. Yeah, see, th these are the state of the shelves when at the Goodwill. It's just not the greatest. That's what we've got to work with. Mm. Okay, oh, you know what? That's Hager. It's five dollars. I would take all this stuff out. I don't know what they were to even do a color of the week, but I can barely see the Hager on there. But I like that green color, so I'm uh, I'm gonna chuck those flowers out real quick, like. But I will get that. Oh, card out. Dad's barbecue voted number one. Babies. Oh, there's a Foxy Loxy. It's home though. Three dollars. Along with this spread, warm this tile. They'll both stay warm for quite a while. Oh look, this is the second one we found. This is a nightstand water pitcher. It's brass apples. 
Ooh, and it's a bell. I'll sit you next to fancy pants. Another card with some art. Hey, no way. Some milk glass ruffled dishes. Like a little sugar. It's kind of different. I think it's a sugar disc because it has this little indentation there for the spoon. Oh, look, we can make sock puppets. Oh, there's another Mindflex. We bought one of these. I haven't sold it yet, but we bought one. Okay, so this laser made is made by Think Fun, which is an educational game. So it's four dollars. I will scan it and see if it's worth anything. All right, nah, it's not. It sells for like ten dollars. So, does she want it? Oh, good, fine. This has been. Has it been used? Oh, there's none in there. Well, we can check it over. It's like little coasters in here. All baskets are two dollars. There's a watermelon basket up there. Ooh, here's a Daisy ice crusher. It's an electric ice crusher. I don't think it has a cord. Oh, it does. Ooh, you can crush your ice. Coffee grinder. Oh, look, you can t it's a, a time card thing. I can track my time. You know, I have one of these, and they're the best things ever. Those little choppers. I'm just going to look at the art over here, and then I'm going to go and look at the fabrics. I'm looking at the art the wrong way. But looking at the art this way. Ooh, it's a big owl. Alright, not seeing any artwork. Oh, you all want to go to Krusty Land? Go to Krusty Land. Get, get your own pillow. Oh, these are fun collars, kind of. I like the teal, I just don't think I like the orange with it. Metallic placemats. Crocheted ones. Oh, little Easter ones. Oh, here's an Easter towel. Oh, it's kind of yucky though. It's cute. It's got little bunnies and sheep on it. I did find a down pillow for four dollars. It's never been opened. And I found a shell and a basket. Well, we ended up finding a few things. We found, well, a few things. You'll have to come and watch the. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put the. I'm just gonna put what we got at the end of this video. So there will be a haul right now. Right, Emma? right now so go watch the haul and i'll see you in a few minutes well hello friends and welcome to the haul portion of today's video and then let me tell you i've got one two three four five six things i have six exciting things to show you um from the two goodwills that we went to so it's not a lot i'm not gonna lie it's not that exciting well one of the things i'm wearing now i've washed it but i did get me a new little sweatshirt but so this is six things. So I, 
it, it's slim pickings. It, it is slim pickings at Goodwill. But let me show you what I got. The first thing I got was this little basket. But Emma was with us and she really wanted this to use it for something in her apartment. So this is Emma's a little wicker basket. I can't remember how much the baskets are because there's not a price tag on it, but they had a sign somewhere. So I don't remember. I want to say maybe 99 cents for the basket. Um, and I also got one of these. Now this is a, it's like the, um, the stand to a, a casserole dish. There would have been a dish that you could put in and it just, it's like a little holder for your casserole. It's very, makes it very fancy. This was $2. And what I like to do with these is you take books and you place them in here and it just is a nice display. You can stack books and you can put them this way. I actually have one of these at home. So this one's actually missing. It's supposed to have another handle on this end, but I don't mind that because I will use it just to display some, some books in. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or if I'm going to sell it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I just really like these. I like that to mix them with the books. Um, I got a little cute little chicky planter. It was $4. He's a little chick and he's holding his egg. Now, I did sell one of these not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, this it has a little piece of felt on the bottom to prevent it from scratching your, your desk or your surface that you're going to put it on. But it's really nicely painted and it has these little transfer flowers on there. And they stuck little Easter grass in here. I think it's super cute with that Easter grass in it. You could put like a couple little e plastic Easter eggs up there. And it'd be really cute. So I do like the little duck. He's a cute little fella. But I like a good planter anyway. And, you know, that's a good planter. Speaking of planters, I got this. This is a, well, it looks like a big chalice, but it's a pot. And it did have a big thing of flowers. Dried flowers, faux flowers, but not great flowers. So I did discard the flowers. They were kind of falling apart. Like they... They've been in a house that maybe didn't get a lot of dusting, and so they just were kind of brittle. And so I, I took, I just ripped them out. We just ripped them out. There was the floral foam on the inside. I still need to clean this up a little bit. It still has a little bit of remnants of the floral foam, but you can barely see it on the bottom. But this is Hager. You can see the see a little H right there. It is Hager pottery. It's like, it's a matte. It's a very plain piece of Hager. It isn't the most exciting piece, piece of Hager, but I like the shape of it. So I think that this would look nice in a display too. You know, you could have it sitting on some books with some, some, something hanging from the, out of, out of it, like some beads or, I don't know. I just, I like the shape of it. And it kind of has a speckly look to it. This right here is not it's a glazing flaw right there. It's not a chip. And I paid $5 for this, but uh, sometimes when you can't find a whole lot and you just want to buy something, and that is not a good rule to follow. If you don't see anything in Goodwill, then just don't just walk out and leave. Don't just like look for something to buy that don't just don't be like me when it comes to that. But I probably shouldn't have spent $5 on this. I did. And if I can't sell it, then I will use it in my home decor because I think I like the shape of it. I think that it's nice. Now, these are something that I am keeping. Um, they were $4 and they are a set of two comfy down pillows. They said that they're made in the USA, um, but they're two pillow inserts. So you would put, you know, you would get pillow covers to put over these and choose as throw pillows. And they're nice. I mean, down pillows are not cheap. And they were $4. So I got those and I will be getting me some new pillow covers um, for my couch. That was a good deal. It's fun to find things that you can use in your home when you go to Goodwill. You know, I don't, everything that I buy from Goodwill isn't necessarily things that I am going to resell. You can find very practical things when you go into Goodwill, like sweatshirts and pillows and planters and 
you know, baskets and things like that. The last thing that I got was this. Now, this is pretty awesome to find at Goodwill. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not going to completely complain about Goodwill because, you know, there was a fairy lamp at Goodwill and it was $4. This is an L.E. Smith uh, Stars and Bars and it's in great condition. It's taped. They have it taped all around just to keep the lid on, but it's clear glass. Very general, very multi-purpose. You can use this all season long. So this, this was a good find at Goodwill. So thank, thank you, Goodwill, for at least offering something that's, that's great. I appreciate it. So when you can find a fairy lamp at Goodwill, it, it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. Thanks, Goodwill. Good. Sometimes when you go into Goodwill, do you ever say, okay, Goodwill gods, be good to me today? You kind of have to say that. I kind of feel like now if I don't say that, then it isn't going to be a successful trip. But now, nowadays, you don't really know. It's just, you don't really know. You had seen in the video that the shelves are very bare. And that is how it is. It's That's how it's been in Goodwill in my, like, within an hour uh, driving distance. Very bare shelves. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with the stuff because I know they're getting donations. Well... They're probably putting in a lot of it on, they do sell on eBay and they sell on Goodwill.com. So anyway, that is the haul. It's it's a small haul, but the fairy lamp really made up for it. So I'm not going to complain too much, Goodwill, but again, you need to fill up your shelves a little bit more. Um, not only just for a reseller, but just for your customers in general. You know, people want to go in and see full shelves. They want to be able to dig through stuff, Goodwill. Fill up your shelves and make the people happy. That's that's all you got to do. I know you got the stuff. You got the stuff. Fill up your shelves. That's it. That's the haul. Thank you so much for going shopping with me and listening to the short but decent haul that I got from Goodwill. Um, make sure that you leave me a comment. Let me know how your Goodwills are. Are your Goodwill shelves stocked full or are they very bare? I'm curious. I want to know. Like if you're in Texas, how are the Texas Goodwills? If you are in Tennessee, how are the Tennessee Goodwills? I, I'm curious. I don't, I wonder if it's just an Indiana thing. I don't know. Surely it's not. I hope that it's not. But maybe it is. I don't know. Let me know how your Goodwill is, you know, keeping the stock on their shelves. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And as always, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.